So if you look at this diagram here, right, it shows you the organs in the digestive system. And guys, of course, the first organ you should be very familiar because we use it every day to eat, right? So uh, digestive system, it starts from the mouth. Okay, so when it goes into the mouth, then usually what you do is that you chew, then after that you swallow your food. So when you swallow your food, right, it goes down uh, to this tube, okay, this long tube that goes down your chest, then it goes all the way to your to your stomach. So guys, this tube is called the gullet, okay, and from the gullet, right, guys, uh, do you know where it goes to? It goes to this uh, this organ here. It's called the stomach. Okay, and the food will stay in the stomach for a few hours. Then your stomach, you know guys, what is it like? It's like a washing machine. So it, it keeps churning the food into simpler and simpler substances. Then after that, uh, the food, it will go into the small intestine. You see, from the stomach, it goes down into this, uh, the, the tube in the, in the middle. Uh. So this is the small intestine. And in the sto small intestine, the food will still be broken down into uh, simpler substances even further. Okay, then after that, it will stop. Okay, and guys, after after digestion is done, right? That means the food is already broken down into very very simple substances. Then can you think of the next step? What is going to happen? Okay, when it's broken down into so uh, such a simpler substance, the next step the body wants to do is to absorb it into the bloodstream. Okay, so absorption. Okay, let me just maybe put a, a stroke here. So this tells you that digestion ends in the small intestine and absorption will occur in the second part of the small intestine. Okay. Then after that, you go to the large intestine. Then large intestine also will continue to absorb the remaining mineral, vitamins and also water from the undigested food. Then eventually, uh, the food will go down all the way to the rectum. Okay, guys, this rectum right, is a place where we store our poop. Okay, so basically, uh, let me try to explain a little bit more. When the food is being digested and the food is being absorbed, uh, the nutrients are being absorbed, absorbed, absorbed. So there are, there are certain parts of the food that will not be absorbed. We call them the undigested food. They will move along the, the large intestine and all the way. Then even eventually, it becomes more and more like the you know that, that when we when we pass out when we go to the toilet okay so after the food the nutrients has been absorbed absorbed okay then it will it will become very dry then eventually it turns into the 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 poop that we will pass out and it will be stored in the rectum okay and of course uh when it's time to go to the toilet then you'll pass out the feces through the anus okay so guess what are the parts that uh is required in p4 and for pSLE Mouth, gullet, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Okay, rectum and anus, right, guys? Um, it's not in the syllabus, but uh, some school they teach it. So I think it's good to to know their functions and how to label it. Okay. <laughs>